Good morning. Or sorry, it's New Year's. Tuesday. Good morning. <laughs> and a very warm welcome to St. Martin's on the 2nd of January. Happy New Year. One or two things to um, to say to you. Um, that is that just before Christmas, on the 22nd of uh, December, uh, Karen Young became a grand for the fourth time. Um, Louis got a wee brother. Um, so, and and his name is Harry. So, congratulations to the whole family. The um, our uh, money. See this COVID brain. <laughs> Words just are not coming. Um, our Christmas offerings, which are going to be split between um, a bereavement support for children at St Columbus Hospice and the Agape Home um, for children with special needs in Pakistan. Some of the photographs of which you will have seen. Um, as, as you came in. Um, we're currently standing, would you believe, at just under £700. Isn't that remarkable? Um, and so we will we'll make it up to the nearest 100 So if anybody wants to give this morning and take it over £700, we'll make it up to eight. But it means that we're going to have, uh, at the very least, £350 for, for each charity, which is just phenomenal and actually better than, than, than most of the years since I've, I've been here, which is remarkable in the circumstances. So thank you so much to everybody who, who donated, whether it was a bow in the tree or um, the Christmas cards or just putting money in one of our services. It really is remarkable, and it just shows what a wonderful generous loving church you are so thank you so much each and every one of you i should have said hello to those who are on um, our live stream this morning happy new year to you also we hope you enjoy the service with us this morning um this is epiphany every time someone says that i want to say bless you <laughs> this is when we remember we think about the wise men coming to see jesus and so our first carol this morning is as with gladness men of old
Let's come before God in prayer. Let us all pray. <clears throat> Gracious God, we thank you that as you guided the wise men to Bethlehem, so you also now guide us to your Son. And we thank you that Jesus' presence is still with us by your Holy Spirit that we can find that same love, that same joy that those wise men found all those years ago. But Lord, help us to bring others to the presence of Christ. Help us to share that message of good news that Jesus is alive. Lord, speak to us by your Holy Spirit. Lead us each day in your love. And as we encounter others, may they also encounter you through us. These and all our prayers we offer in and through the name of Jesus our Lord. And as a family of faith, we say in our own languages and traditions the words that he taught us to say. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. During the week, I was having a wee look at um, my kind of Christmas stuff, you know, the shirts that I wear and various things, and started to put things away because I think once Santa's been, you know, we'll, we'll put him in the cupboard for another year. Um, and then I saw this, and I thought, oh, I don't need to put this one away because it's got the wise men in it. <laughs> so, um, you can leave the sunglasses at home from next week because this is the last week I'll be wearing it till next Christmas. But we're now going to sing a carol that, about um, the wise men. It's, not, it's called Come and Join the Celebration. Um, and it's just, just enjoy yourself. There's no many of us, but we can still make a noise. There we go. Let's all start. Come and join the celebration. It's a very special day. Come and share a jubilation. There's a new king born today. See the shepherds. Hurry down to Bethlehem, gaze in wonder at the Son of God who laid before them. Come and join the celebration, it's a very special day. Come and share our jubilation, there's a new king born today. Wise men journey, led to worship by a star. Kneel in homage, bringing precious gifts from lands afar. So come and join the celebration, it's a very special day. Come and share our jubilation. There's a new king born today. God is with us. Round the world the message bring. He is with us. Welcome all the bells on earth are pealing. Come 
and join the celebration. It's a very special day. Come and share our jubilation. There's a new king born today. Yay. <laughs> So let's hear the story of the wise men. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, this is Matthew 2, 1 to 12, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When all, he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, he replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly, and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me so that I too may go and worship him. After they'd heard the king, they went on their way. And the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where Jesus was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary. And they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with the gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Amen. And thanks be to God. We now sing the, the wonderful hymn. Although by the time it's finished we feel we've done the entire journey ourselves. But we're going to sing We Three Kings of Orient are.
It's a wonderful arrangement of that. But as I say, you do get halfway through and you think, where are we going? Oh, Bethlehem. <clears throat> After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? No wonder Herod was chuffed. He's still in the job and his successors coming in. It's interesting because often we draw comparisons between Jesus and um, David. And this is another one. Remember last week I talked about how David was a shepherd. And when God called him to be king of Israel, they had to get him off the, off the fields because he was out shepherding and Jesus then called himself the good shepherd and drew parallels. Mary and Joseph had to go to Bethlehem because it was the, the town, the city of David. And so therefore, they had to go there for the census. And that's where Jesus was born. It was the town of David, the city of David, and that's where Jesus was born. And the other one is that David was appointed king well, the other king was still alive. And that went down like a rattlesnake in a lucky dip. <laughs> and it's the same situation here, where the Magi go to Herod and say, where is the king? And he's going, no, 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 you the real king. Because Herod wasn't a real king of the Jews. Herod had been Pointed. He'd been imposed by the Romans. And yes, he'd converted to Judaism, but he wasn't a Jew in the accepted sense of the word. And he was never really accepted as the king. And this was God saying the same thing. This was God saying, nah, you're not. This is the real king. Not just of the Jews, but of the whole world. But as you can imagine, Herod wasn't very pleased. And he, he, took all these, he got all these advisors together, all the, the wise people, and said, where is the king of the Jews to be born? You think somebody would have told Herod before this, wouldn't you? Well, by, by the way, Herod, um, there might be something in your future that you want to know about. <laughs> but he was completely unprepared. And yet, he must have been raging when they said, oh, aye, 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 Bethlehem. And so he developed a plan in his mind, but he didn't tell the wise men, he didn't tell the magi. He just basically said, when you, when you see the baby, come and tell me where he is, that I might go and worship him as well. If this was a pantomime, and it kind of is, this was a pantomime. He'd have a knife behind his back and a big grin. And all the wee wains would be going, boo. But it's real life. These were real lives that were at stake here. And it's interesting, because I think this all hinges on one small piece of this text. It says, after they, this is verse 9, after they'd heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. The wise men had lost sight of the star. They'd seen it rise, and they knew the general direction to go, and they knew roughly what they were looking for, but they had lost the star. And that's why they went to the wrong place. That's why they went to the palace rather than to the house. Because they lost sight of the star and just went for the obvious thing. Because where's a king going to be? In a palace. And yet that started all the trouble. Because at that point they were relying on their own wisdom and not the wisdom of God. Because what they didn't realize is that God never ever does anything the way we would do. 
And if we're expecting, you know, if, we, if, if we're expecting a king and God's involved, the, at the last place I would look is a ballast. Because that's not the way God works. But they had lost sight of the star. And that had led them to the wrong place. And so often we lose sight of where God wants us to be. Or we lose sight of God's plan for our lives. Or we just lose sight sometimes of the fact that God loves us. And we can wander away. And we can make mistakes by looking in the wrong places. But the great news is, is we might lose God, but he never loses us. He knows exactly where we are. And he drew the wise men back onto the right path. And he'll do that for us as well, if we let him. And they went in and they presented him with their gifts of gold, frankenstein, and a smurf. No, sorry, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And you're thinking... Okay, gold's fine. I saw a brilliant cartoon recently, and it was a, it, it was basically a, a, a shopkeeper, and there's three wise men, and there's lots of gold, and then at the bottom it says, people who shop for gold also look for these items, and it had frankincense and murder at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, <clears throat> it's gold for a king. Frankincense was burnt in the temple, and so that was for the priest that Jesus was also to become. And myrrh, well, myrrh was used to anoint dead bodies. So as we sung in the hymn, Jesus was king, priest, and sacrifice. And the wise men knew that, and that's why they brought those gifts. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. And you might think, well, you know, the cat's already out the bag. But at least this way, it gives the Holy Family a fighting chance. And of course, they went to Egypt. Amen. And thanks be to God. We're going to sing one of the songs we sung last week. Um, on the basis that many of these songs you only get to sing once or twice so we'll just take advantage of it and we're going to sing many years ago in a stable far away uh, have no fear have you heard christ is born today and if you're thinking i don't remember that one jingle bells and we stand to sing Many years ago, in a stable far away, Christ our Lord was born, what a happy day. Singing filled the air, glory shone around. Shepherds heard the invitation seated on the ground. Have no fear, have you heard, Christ is born today. Go and see him lying there in a manger filled with hay. Then the sky came alive, angels everywhere, singing hymns of joyful praise to God who sent them there. On the way to Bethlehem, in a most excited way, shepherds went to see Christ the Lord that day. When they saw him there, they were filled with joy. On their knees they worshipped him, God's special baby boy. Have no fear, have you heard, Christ is born today. Go and see him lying there in a manger filled with hay. Then the sky came alive, angels everywhere. Singing hymns of joyful praise to God who sent them there. Over Bethlehem in a most unusual way. Wise men saw a star brighter than the day. Bearing gifts of man, frankincense and gold. They came to worship like the prophets had foretold. 
Have no fear, have you him? Christ is born today. Go and see him lying there in a manger filled with hay. Then the sky came alive, angels everywhere, singing hymns of joyful praise to God. Have no fear, have no fear, have you heard? Christ is born today. Go and see him lying there in a manger filled with hay. Then the sky came alive, angels everywhere, singing hymns of joyful praise to God who sent them there. One of the real, one of the real joys for me over Christmas is, is having Erica and the clarinet playing with us, and it's just been fantastic. Um, and hopefully that will continue. But uh, there's just something really nice about that at Christmas. So let's give Erica a clap. Mm -hmm. One of the interesting things about the program that we use for putting our words up um, is that it. <clears throat> all the, the weekly things, the weekly um, services are called sets in this particular thing. And you have a sets folder. And so every week we build up the, the set and we put it in the set folder. And then I bring it down in a USB pen, put it onto the machine here. And as long as it goes into the sets folder, it's fine. And as the, as the year goes on, that folder gets bigger and bigger. And I learned a few years ago that every set starts with the number of the month, because that way you can find them a lot easier. So January is one dot space and then the date, and then that goes. And you get to a point where you realize there's less of the month, the, the year left than, than, um, than we've had. And then you get to December and you realize you're on four or five Sundays and that, that's you. And then you get to this Sunday and what happens for this Sunday is that all the sets for the last year are in the sets folder, but I, can't, I don't want them in the sets folder, so I have to rename the sets folder 2021 and start a new folder. And so this morning, there's only one set in the folder, and that's today. And it always makes me think that that's just what the year is like is that by the end of the year, that will be full. But at the moment, it's only opportunity. It's only potential. I heard something the other day, and I can't remember where I heard it. It was a film. But the person said, yesterday is yesterday. Today is today. And tomorrow is hope. Yesterday is yesterday, today is today, and tomorrow is hope. That's not the word that I was just expecting to say tomorrow or the future, but it's hope. And every year when we restart these set folders, and we've now got about five of them, we start with hope. We don't know what the year's going to hold, but we know that God is there, and we know that God holds the future. Let's all pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the hope of a new year. We thank you that we don't know what's going to happen, but you do. Lord, we stand with some trepidation, not knowing what's going to happen, not knowing what the future holds. But Lord, help us also to be excited by that, to be excited to see what you're going to do in our lives and in our church this year. Gracious God, the world is still a worried place. We still live with coronavirus. We still live with poverty. We still live with violence. But Lord, we also live with potential. We also live with opportunity. And we also live by, with your Holy Spirit. So guide us in our world and help us to reach out to those who are in poverty, to those who are ill, 
to those who feel the world has abandoned them, to those who mourn the loss of a loved one, to those who feel that justice is for others and not for them. Lord, we take a moment to think of those known to us in need of your love at this time and in the silence of our hearts we name them before you. And Lord, as we prepare to leave this place, to go back into your world, into our world, may we as the church here in our communities be a light to those who live here and may we lead them to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Just a, a reminder that tea and coffee and our cafe are suspended at the moment until we get more information. Um, there will hopefully be bread this week. It's most likely to be Thursday or Friday, but as soon as I know, I will let you know. Um, yeah, it cares self-isolating. He's not actually um, got coronavirus, but um, the, it's, it's in, it's in their, their home, so... Um, He's, he's self-isolating, but he's okay. I spoke to him the, the other day, um, and he's, he's just desperate to get back out and do things, so he'll be, he'll be around. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I, I thought it was round about then he would be due out because it was just before, I think it was Thursday. The ironic thing is, as we all know with, with, with coronavirus, the person who's got it always gets it before everybody else. Because <laughs> you start, you know, they, they start from the, the symptoms, whereas the other person has to start from when, from when they know. So anyway, he knows, he's, he's no doubt watching. Hello, Ken. Our final hymn is... I don't actually know if the wise men are mentioned in this or not, but I don't care because it's good and we haven't sung it yet. So let's stand as you close the service and sing, see him lying on a bed of straw. <clears throat> See him lying on a bed of straw, a drafty stable with an open door. Mary cradle and the babe she bore, the Prince of Glory is his name. Oh, now carry me to Bethlehem to see the Lord appear to men. Just as poor as was the stable then, the Prince of Glory when he came. Star of silver sweep across the sky Show where Jesus in the manger lies Shepherd swiftly from your stupor rise To see the saviour of the world Oh now carry me to Bethlehem To see the Lord appear to men Just as poor as was the stable then The prince of glory when he came Angels sing the song that you began to the heart of man Sing that Bethlehem's little baby can Be salvation to the soul Oh, now carry me to Bethlehem To see the Lord appear to men Just as poor as was the stable then The Prince of Glory when he came Minor riches from your poverty From your innocence eternity Death for me, child of sorrow for my joy. Oh, now carry me to Bethlehem to see the Lord appear to men. Just as poor as was the stable then, the Prince of Glory when he came. Oh, now carry, oh, now carry me to Bethlehem to see the Lord appear to men. Just as poor as was the stable then. The Prince of Glory when he came. One more time. Oh, now carry me to Bethlehem to see the Lord appear to men. Just as poor as was the stable then, the Prince of Glory when he came.
So go in peace, keep alive the faith and the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and those whom you love this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen.